In round number one, we're going to be covering a championship winning team. At the end of the day, it's the working part of the team that gives that gag and not the individuals that guarantees you success. However, you're going to only be as strong as your weakest link in this game. So in round one, each team needs each individual component of their side to fire to earn the full seven points on offer to them by directly identifying the members of a championship winning team. So, for one correct answer in round number one, your team will get three points. Two correct answers gets five points. If all three team members answer their question correctly, that's a full seven points up for grabs. So think wisely in terms of what we're gonna what you're gonna take with round number one. Know your champions. Our championship winning team will be the 2008 Curry Cup champion, Cheetahs. Oh, sorry, Sharks. So, just a bit of background on this, the Sharks were fondly known as the team of the 90s. But after their triumph in 1996, they had to wait 12 years, which included four finals as runners-up and two semi-final defeats at home before they tasted success. Now, on the back of the 2007 World Cup, they were uh, some of the team members were back at Kings Park against the Bulls side, which caused them heartache at the same ground 18 months earlier in the Super 14 final. This time the tables were turned with the Sharks winning 14 points to 9. So, your job on this round is name the team that started for the Sharks in the final. So, William, with the order of Bavkis, um, you, your team gets to go first and first up is JW. Jivian, begin for us to go on the board for the mark. Sorry, I just got unmuted. Uh, Dark Wood is dark. Siva. I yeah, sorry, I just did. Um, can can for my team Butch James. For my team Butch James, the area we have here, da. And that was actually Freddie Michel after we had some team for him. Okay, the particular is a rugby match. Dylan, it's all up to you. Sorry, Richard, I can't see the team graphic. I don't know if it's just I me. Think. Um, I will go for number 13 and I will say A.D. Jacobs. Okay, number 13, A.D. Jacobs. And it's a rugby off the mark with three points there as that was A.D. Jacobs. Louis. Um, we have Bismarck. Number two, Bismarck. Bismarck and number two, Bismarck to proceed. So Louis, where the Olof Berg is for the Merck of Krim. Henry. Okay, we go to number three, Janny Duplessis. Okay, number three, Janny Duplessis. And it was Janny Duplessis. So, is that actually Merck up to five points with Olof Berg is on three? William, can you turn it into a five points? It's literally a three, I don't know. <laughs> um, Let's go Loazi and Volvo at fullback. Going for Loazi and Volvo at fullback. And that was the Panther Blanc. Panther Blanc. Angus. Uh, I think seven, uh, John Dazel. Going for number seven, John Dazel. And that John oh. Dazel, which means that a full seven points in round number one for it's a rugby match. 
Atlanta at the end of round number one is seven points of the Curry Cup competition. Some players have left their mark on the competition and become household names for various reasons. Based on the clues provided, can you correctly identify some of these players? So, with Esther Rocky Mag having taken the lead, that means we are Dylan. So we off to Dylan for the first pick on this round. You said you've given us style for the points. Yeah. So, I hold the record for the most points scored in a single Curry Cup match. I'm gonna pass it again, yeah. Okay, pass. Any of your team members, Angus or Henry? Can you help them out there? Uh, I think it's Willem the ball. Okay, okay. 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 And the answer there is... Yanni the beer! It's so close. Okay. Okay. okay, so that means 3 points for the Oil of Berkies. They claw back to 7-6. And here we are. We, you guys take the Falcon off the board here. Okay, give them a loose forward to 3. Loose forward to 3. Loose forward to 3. And I captain the Pumas to a maiden carry cup title in 2022. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 with Ek, with Ek Willie Engelbrecht. Okay, going for Willie Engelbrecht there. <laughs> and the answer there is Willie Engelbrecht. Well done, I would have gone with a clown captain and have been wrong, so thanks for him. <laughs> <laughs> well done for passing. Right, so unfortunately both teams, you've used up your passes for this round. So Esther Acting Mag and Olof Berkis, no passes remaining, which means next up is Henry. This is fucking naughty so further. Rishi Mechwara, can I for a slot gun? Going for lock, going for five points, the sort of question there. So, before, he, before returning to the Crusaders, I joined Western Province for the 2009 Carry Cup season and scored with my first touch of the ball. Oh, oh fuck. No. There was an old one. Chris Jack. Okay. Hey. Okay, William, you want to take for 50-22? Yeah, Chris Jack. Okay, going for 50 22 and giving us a Chris Jack. And the answer there is Chris Jack. So, that's a successful 50-22 by the Will of Bandies. So, after with that successful 50-22, they've taken the lead 14-7. Unfortunately, they've used up both 50-22s at the event for the game so far. So next up, Louis. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Center. So we're going for center three points. So I became the first Canadian to win the Curry Cup with Western Province in 1997. Shut up, everybody's name. Christian Stewart. Okay, going for Christian Stewart. And that was Christian Stewart, so that's another three points there. Olo Perkis taking a 17-7 lead. So, next up, we've got Angus. Okay, gonna make up some ground here. So let's go for... I'm gonna go to this, keep fullback. Going for fullback for five points. So, I am fifth on the all-time Curry Cup point scoring list and the highest scoring fullback on that list. Yo. What, what's the question again? I'm not seeing on the screen yet, Richard. I'm fifth on the all-time Curry Cup point scoring list and the highest scoring fullback on the list. 
sure. Unfortunately, time is up there, and we need to move on because the Oil of Lampies have already used their 50 20 twos there. The answer there oh, being Andre Hubert. Andre Hubert. The Vetrak? I thought it was Vetrak. Okay, William. Let's go, winger. Going for winger, so going for the three points there. So I hold the record for the most tries scored in a single Curry Cup season. Bjorn Besson. Bjorn Besson, and that's a successful three points there. So it's a well done. 27 well done, William. for the World of Berries. Dylan. Um. Oh well, might as well go for it, Luke. Let's come off. Going for Scrabble for 7 points there. So, with 54 caps for Wales, I represent the Western Province during the 1994 Curry Cup season. What? Um, we can't intercept them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They can't give me a 50-22. Now, okay, push my next song. And unfortunately, time is up on that one. The answer there, Dylan, was... Robert Jones. What? Oh, okay. So he actually pulled the halfback partnership with Joel Stransky for Western Province in the 94 season. So here we are. Last game for you. Prop or hooker? Wow, let's go hooker. Going for hooker there. So, as an Argentine international, I had two spells with the Sharks in 96 and 2002, oh. as well as one with Western Province in 2005. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, pass, pass, pass. Hey, oh, <laughs> okay. And the answer there Maybe. being... Federico Mendes. Shut, shut, shut. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, we're in the third place. We're in the Right. So that's the end of round number two, which sees the Oil of Berkies taking a twenty point to seven lead over SA Rugby Mag. Um, the for us on. So, taking, going into round number 3, we've got Olo Perkis 20, is an Rugby Max 7. Right, so our next round, round number 3, Know Your Logos. So, the only, cha- the only constant in the world, of course, is change. And over the course of the last 133 years, some of the unions have changed their identities as well. So, for this round, I'm... I'm going to give you the old logo. Can you uh, correct, uh, correctly identify the union based on the logo provided? You said logo 2. And that's oh. an intercept. Is that okay, back? Are you going to take the intercept Rather or not? Take it. Yeah. It's, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Taking, taking the intercept. Right. So your old logo. Can you tell us who's the team? The screen is lagging, I can't even see. I've seen, I've seen it. Um, I'm going to say the cats. The cats. Yeah, it's something you have to do. Okay. It's a puma. It's a cat. Puma. Yeah. Puma. 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 Nice, it's a cat. I thought the cats were said yeah. first, so it's the puma. Which means an unsuccessful intercept. And the Olof Berg is taking the three points off. Sorry. It's a rack in the Bad boys, well played. Well done. Right. Henry, what's this now? We have a yoke opener. Two ones. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Henry. Logo Going for logo one, going for three points. Logo one, name the team. Uh, 
Going for the shocks. And that, of course, is the shocks. They all go to be a logo for the Natal Union. William. Uh, four. Going for logo number four. Going for five points. And ah. here's your logo. Shit. Remember, you've got a boss available again. Boss. Can I cry? Uh, yeah, yeah. Seven seconds. Velvet tears. Okay, you gave us the answer there before the fifty twenty two, and that was not the velvet tears. I was gonna say it's lions. The lions logo. Oh. I thought it was the Griffins, actually. <laughs> right, and last but not least, Angus, logo number three or logo number five? Let's go big, number five. Yeah. Thanks for logo number five. Oh. And name the team. Oh. It can't Still yeah. waiting on it to load, it's a bit lagging my side. Oh, okay. shit. I was always going to say England. Uh, I'd say that's free state. Okay, for free state then. Unfortunately, that's the Falcon. Oh, okay. oh, oh, I thought it was England. <laughs> Not in Curry Cup though. Right, <laughs> so at the end of round number three, Wolof Berkey is taking a 23 to 10 lead. Um, Angus. Right. So, next up, we're going to play round number four. Know your timelines. So, how this round's going to work. So, during the amateur era, era certain players were synonymous with certain teams. However, with the dawn of professionalism, players are more inclined to move to different, different unions. Can you correctly identify the union the following players move to? So, what I'm going to give you is certain players or positions. The player will come up the screen with a missing team from their timeline. You need to tell us which team oh. that they represent in that year. So, here we are. Here is Jesko Piripan. They have a very good part. Can you my lock, please? Going for lock, going for the three points. So, our lock there is Victor Matfield. Which team did you represent? Three points. Three points. And that was Rikwas. So that's 2610 of your Amlet. So well of bad things. Dylan. Um sounds like at some point okay. me lose forward. Okay. So I lose forward for three points. Michael Rose. So you got the Sharks and Western okay. Province. Who did you represent? 2011 to 2012. Lions. Okay, for the Lions. And it yeah. was the Lions. So that's three points for Eseraki Mag. 26-13 to the World of Banking. Louis. Um, fullback. Going for fullback. And we've got Gavin Lawless on the screen for you. Western Province, Lions and Sharks. Who did he end his career with in 99? Remember, you've got to pass again. Pass. Um, uh, Lions. Lions. Okay, so you gave us Lions before the 50-22. In fact, ended his career with the Pumas. Sure. Wow. Henry. So, remember, last one for you. And remember, you still got your pass available for this round. Um, is that the fly off? Bang for fly off. That's five points, and that's an intercept. William? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna, are you taking the intercept? Yeah, let's take it. Okay. So, Willem de Waal, Cheetahs in Western Province. Who did he start his career off with in 2002? Oh my gosh. Willem de Waal. 
It was in Poland's land, though. Yeah, but it wasn't leopards, it wasn't buck. So yeah, it leopards, leopards, leopards. leopards. Yes, Pretty sure. Sunday. Yeah, well done. Well Who done. said that, JW? Well yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's, well done. That's five points dead on a successful intercept. So, Rich, the end, gold one? Sorry, the gold one, I'll give it to you at the end. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so at the end of round number four, we've got the Oil of Bandits on 31, SR Rugby Mag on 13. So, going into our lock. Going into our last round, round number five, know your teams. So this is our last do or die round for the evening. And how well do you know the history of the unions making up the Curry Cup? So on the screen we give you some of the unions and with the World of Panties, William, you get to have first pick of your unions. William, you get first pick on the board. Let's go for the Cavaliers, Brigge. <laughs> Going for the Bullam Cavaliers for the full seven points. So, in which year did Bullam play in and host their only Curry Cup final today? No. Nineteen sixty-nine. For nineteen sixty-nine. Unfortunately, that was 1952. Close, close, close. Very, very close, William. Well done. After the Second World War, it's the only time I had a I'm waiting on the screen to load again. It's freaking lagging, bro. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Bulls. Going for the Bulls. Bull. So, in which year did the Bulls win their first ever Curry Cup? <laughs> Good luck. Ah, nineteen fifty-six. It was nineteen forty-six that they won their first oh, ever Curry Cup. Oh, right, next up, Yevia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a mute. Yeah, okay, my leopard, <laughs> Thanks for leopards. So, prior to adopting the leopards moniker in 2000, what was the northwest side bayside informally known as? Mili Buddha. Yeah, the Mili Buddha. And the answer there is Mili Buddha. Oh, so, that's a successful seven oh, points God. by the Ulo Panchis, taking up a 38 to 13 lead. At this point in time, Dylan. Um, give us the lions, please. Going for the lions. So the original dark blue and white jersey of the lions was given to them by which rugby club? Oh wow! Wow! You just say. Of course, you know this. Um, is Pirates rugby club? Not that obvious in the no. Not that obvious, that was Diggers Rugby yeah. Club. They are part of the worst thing. Louis, we have yes, spoken of you. Cheetahs, I believe. Going for the Cheetahs. So, the Cheetah Surprise 2005 Curry Cup victory at Loftus was their first title in how many years? Ooh. Uh, 25. Very good guess, that's quite close. Unfortunately, it was 29 years after winning their first title in 1976. They had to wait until 2005 before tasting victory again. Henry. Yes, let's go to Eastern Province. Yeah, boy. Bangkok, Eastern Province. So, before moving to the Nelson Mandela Stadium, which ground was used as the home ground for Eastern Province? Uh, Pretty Rasmus. The answer is 
Die boot Erasmus. So, 38 plays, 16 at this point in time. William, any off oh. of the Ulo Fergies? Let's go with uh, Vipia. Playing with Western Ooh. Province. And that's an intercept. Dylan? Yep, let's take it. What is wrong? Taking the intercept. So, how many Carry Cup titles have Western Province won to date? 34. Yeah. Yeah. Angus giving the 34 sure. there. And the correct answer there being 34 titles. Well done, Angus. First 14 didn't count. Ah, yeah. We wasn't in the finals. No, it's only 20. And Angus, the last one is yours. Sharks or Griquas? Let's go, Sharkies. Going for the Sharks. Also so, the prior to being rebranded the Sharks, what was the nickname given to the KZN base side? Banana Boys. And the answer there is the Banana Boys. Yeah. Right, so that is, brings us to the end of this evening. And the World of Bad is taking the victory by 38 points to 22 tonight. So that means the World of Bad East moves up to 8 low points. And SRAC Mag, unfortunately, not in losing bonus point range tonight. So, some, but you still got three fixtures coming up. So, there's still some ground to make up. There's also a the home final, Richard.